Happy New Year! Under the great compassion of Amida Buddha, I hope all of you are having a peaceful New Year. Thank you very much for joining Hawaii Betsin's first Sunday service of 2022. <clears throat> On this first Sunday, let us have a moment of silence for the people who passed away due to COVID-19, as well as victims of natural disasters. And then let us extend our thoughts to the people who are suffering by unfortunate circumstance. Let us place our hands in gusho. Namo Amida Butz, Namo Amida Butz, Namo Amida Butz, Namanda, Namanda, Namanda. Thank you very much. Such as COVID pandemic, earthquake, tornado, as well as man-made violence, the world is still in huge chaos. It should be the time to unite and help each other, but the path may not be easy. In such challenging time for all human beings, and for the earth, there are so much things we can contribute. When Shinran Shonin was 88 years old, Shinran Shonin wrote a letter to the Nembutsu follower named Jo Shinbo in Hitachi province. In the letter, Shinran Shonin quoted the words which his master, Honen Shonin, gave to him. It quoted as such, the late master Honen says, persons of the Pure Land tradition attain birth in the Pure Land by becoming their foolish selves. This attain birth in the pure land by becoming their foolish selves is quite a strong statement, isn't it? This foolish self does not mean the person is a fool, lack of knowledge or common sense. It means that a person who is blind to themselves to their true self. Persons who are dragged by the passions and ignorance, persons who don't know he or she is in the lost. So when I think about it, I kind of question myself, are we foolish beings? When we look around, look at ourselves, do you consider yourself as foolish beings? Mm. As I live in the Jodo Shinshu minister, Jodo Shinshu follower, I learned that I am so a foolish being, but my life keeps revealing, revealing the truth that I don't take it within my guts. 
Can you guess on what occasion I often remember my foolish self? Oftentimes, it arises when I make mistakes. When I make mistakes, I don't want to be blamed. I don't want to say sorry, which I should. <laughs> and then I don't want to admit that uh, I made mistake, especially if the mistake is a big one. Discussion about making mistake is not a main point of this message. And as much as I can, I don't want to make mistakes, but sometime or often, unfortunately, I do. Probably all of us making mistakes sometime. But the important thing is the attitude when it happens and how we accept and acknowledge the truth that we did make mistakes. I don't know about um, all of you how you feel, but when I make mistakes, the emotion arises within me, which are often like that. Oh, I don't want anybody to know that I made a mistake. And then I want to protect my reputation. I don't want to people to think I'm a stupid. I want everybody to make mistakes and then I don't want to be brave. So it is always I, I, I. And I only think about myself. Probably because I'm scared or want to protect myself. When those moments arise, I always remember Amida Buddha and Shinran Shonim, and it feels like they're talking to me. These vivid emotions, this pride, fear, jealous, and the ego-centered mind are uh, what Shinran Shonin explained to me as blind passion. And that is the reason Amida Buddha established the vows. This emotional up and downs of what I experience every day are directly linked to the reason Amida Buddha established the vow and are directly linked to what Shinran Shonin taught me. In the word of Honen Shonim, it said, persons of pure land, tradition, attain birth in the pure land by becoming their foolish selves. It says becoming, becoming their foolish selves. So it means originally the person didn't think or know that he or she was a foolish being, but gradually or can be sudden, in their everyday lives, he or she realized their foolish selves and encountered the indescribable great compassion of Amida Buddha to embrace such oneself. By knowing our true self, which is filled with passions, emotions, self-centeredness. Encountering our foolish self does not separate us from Amida Buddha's salvation. It is creating the strong bond between me and Amida Buddha. It is not only learning by book, but the opportunity to encounter the Amida Buddha's compassion is everywhere. Well-known Buddhist scholar Daisit Suzuki said, religions is not something that is understood through preaching of someone, but someone, something that opens naturally within us by hearing the preaching. Religions is not something that is understood through preaching of someone, but something that open naturally within us by hearing the preaching. Yes, listening the Dharma is the most important for us, for Jodo Shinshu followers, but just listen to the Dharma as someone's story or just understand literally 
does not make us realize to the truth. Like Daisetsu Suzuki said, it is not a person, not a minister, or not a monk make us understand the Dharma, but by listening the Dharma from them and from our everyday life and everyday incidents and let it sink into our heart, Dharma naturally revealing itself within us. Knowing my foolish self by book and experience my foolish self in everyday life is very different and the opportunity to encounter the great and the warm compassion is all over and everywhere. On this first Sunday of 2022, let us quietly reflect ourselves. There will be struggles, challenges, conflicts that may await for us. But each moment is guided by the great compassion and the Dharma, and they live one day at a time. Everything happens to our everyday life at a time to encounter great compassion and wisdom. Thank you very much for your kind attention. So as a conclusion, I like to recite the name of the Buddha. So let us together place our hand in Gashaw. Namo Amidabits. Namo Amidabits.